So, yesterday, I posted my experience with a ritual I found on Tumblr to summon a man who could tell me my future. I was pretty desperate when I posted it, but some people commented with advice. Everyone was telling me that I was stupid, which I'm aware of. One of the most asked questions was if I could post the link to the Tumblr post or tell you the name of the ritual or the words I chanted. I'm not going to do any of that. I don't want to be responsible for this happening to anyone else. I hope I covered most of what's happening in this update, but if you have other questions, leave them as comments and I'll answer them in the next update. There's too many comments for me to reply to everything. All day yesterday, I was freaked out that he was in my house somehow. I kept looking over my shoulder and I covered every mirror just in case he appeared again. I tried to do some work to get my mind off it, but the words wouldn't come. Every time I sat down at my computer, I got scared he was behind me, and I was paranoid I would see him reflected in my screen. Every time I passed a mirror, I was sure I could see a figure in a black suit out of the corner of my eye. Last night, I figured I'd try something out. Supposedly, the man's already going to kill me, so following suggestions couldn't hurt. One person said I should recreate the situation exactly as it was that first night. Same outfit, same hair, same candle in the same spot, same time. I wasn't sure what this would do. I guess it would confuse the man into thinking it was our first encounter all over again, or something. So I set up everything and got started at 3 a.m. I was exhausted at this point. I hadn't slept in the last 72 hours and I was going out of my mind with worry for my parents. I wasn't as careful as I should have been. I was too wired. I just wanted to get rid of this son of a bitch for good. I started the ritual again, trying to stay calm. Someone told me if I stayed calm, the man would also be calm. I lit the candle, sat in front of the mirror in the dark room, placed my hand against the glass, and chanted that dumb rhyme. Nothing happened. I double-checked everything, making sure the candle was directly behind me and the window was fully blacked out, and tried again. And again. Everything was in place. It should have been working, but it wasn't. I didn't know what to do next, so I covered up the mirror and went to my bedroom, turning all the lights on as I went. I got into my bed and my dog lay down at my feet like she always does, but her ears were pricked up. Like she could hear something I couldn't. She didn't growl or anything, but it still made me uneasy. I managed to fall asleep eventually from sheer exhaustion, but I didn't sleep well, and I woke up around noon feeling awful. As soon as I woke up, I called a taxi to take me to my parents' house. After that, I packed up everything I could carry. I sat down and researched the ritual I performed again. I trawled through pages and pages of search results, but there's absolutely no information other than that Tumblr post. I'm hoping this is all some big conspiracy. A complex prank someone is pulling on me. I need this to not be real. I need to get out of this house, and I need to go see my parents before it's too late. I would have gone earlier than today, but I've been freaking out, and I didn't want to leave my house in case something happened while I was gone. My anxiety has been through the roof. I'm taking my dog with me. Hopefully the man won't follow me there. I'm packed and ready to go, just waiting for my taxi to arrive. I don't know when I'll come back. I would be perfectly happy to never return, to be honest. If anything happens to my parents, I'll stay at their place anyway. It's not that far. Around 45 minutes if you drive. So I can always come back if I absolutely have to. I have another three days left to figure this out. I'm still googling things as I type this. Trying every keyword I can think of. I've gone through countless websites that deal with this sort of thing and the websites of self-proclaimed psychics and exorcists and ghost hunters. There's no mention of the stupid ritual anywhere. This has to be some sick prank. Orchestrated by some pro who got into my house and rigged everything. Maybe it was a hologram or some shit like that. I'm trying to convince myself this is all a hoax, but I know it's not. Every website says that whenever the ritual is, as long as it involves a mirror, to end it you need to break the mirror and bury it along with a candle. So I'm going to go do that right now. 
I just took the mirror off the wall and smashed it. I buried it in the candle in my backyard, as deep as I could dig. The shards of the mirror are still pretty big, but I hope this works and fixes everything. I'm back to searching for anything else on Tumblr that has to do with it, going through every type of paranormal tag I can think of. I'm going to go back to the original post and look at the profile. Wait a sec. I could have sworn I reblogged the post so I could find it again. I've scrolled back a bit on my page and it's not there. It's not in any of my like posts either. I typed in the name of the user but there's nothing there. I've typed in everything I can think of. They're just gone. Like they never existed. What the hell is going on? How can I figure this out when the other person who knows about this ritual has disappeared? 